Hey guys, it's the Mountie here, and I think it's time I bring back the Mountie blogs because the last time I did it was almost a year ago when I was talking about Big Bang Theory season finale, which is kind of funny because now we're a couple weeks away from another one, but I digress. I got the idea to do this because a couple days after I posted my Clawnaut After Story review on the 2021 Gamers, a link to that will be in the description, there was something that was still bugging me. And that was the topic of the death of Ushio. As you can imagine, there will be spoilers ahead. So. Now, I did explain why in that review I thought it was pointless, unnecessary, etc. But it was actually supposed to be a little longer in the script. I cut it out because it felt more like a tangent. And since it's still bugging me, I figured I might as well talk about this here and give you guys some new content because it's been a while. Now, before I even begin, let me just make this clear. I'm not doing this to attack anybody who thought both deaths were tragic, or thought that one death was sadder than the other. No. This is merely my opinion, and you're free to disagree. Now, before I even begin, I just want to say, I knew about both these deaths early on before I even started After Story. I saw a list from Watch Mojo Tunnel Top 10 Status Anime Deaths, and, well, yeah. I pretty much knew they were going to die. The only thing is, I didn't know when. I just knew they did they dead, they got the dirt not treatment, yada yada, whatever. Sh layman's terms, they're dead. So, why is it that I thought one death was sadder than the other, and or why I thought one death worked, and the other didn't? Now first, one thing I will get out of the way is that the setup for both of these deaths worked pretty well. There were a lot of good, light-hearted moments leading up to the downfall of these characters. And... Well, it was good. I like these moments. One of the reasons I think a death scene can work is if there's light-hearted moments in a series. It makes the serious moments, well, all the more serious. Kind of like what RPM did. Eh, ah, didn't think I'd make a Power Rangers reference there. Never mind. So both of them had it going for them. And the emotions for both of these scenes certainly were there. So these two were done correctly. No doubt about that. Might as well be positive about something before I rip it to shreds. But... Here's a couple of reasons why I thought Nagisa's death worked. I think Nagisa's death worked better mainly because Nagisa was sick before, and she pulled through it. It was set up pretty early on that she had a disease. And we still don't know what that disease is, by the way. Here's the key, what the hell. She pulled through it twice. Yes, I know it was set up a couple episodes before her death, that she might die giving birth to the child because of her disease, but I thought that she might have survived because she pulled through it twice before. And the fact that it didn't happen made it sad. But do you notice something? One of the reasons Nagisa's death worked? It was set up. Early on. Ushio had no indication that she contracted her mother's disease until right near the end of episode 20. It wasn't set up well. It just felt, well, rushed. Like they built the deaths first, and then they set everything else up later. Another reason I think that Nagisa's death worked over Ushio's is because there were stories that could be told with Nagisa's death, as shown with episodes 17, 18, and 19. Her death brought stories. It wrapped up Tomoya's issues with his father. It created a story where Tomoya could be a single parent. It pulled him out of his depression, etc. What happened after Ushio died? Reset bomb. That's it. By the way, one friggin' thing I wish would just die in terms of fan theories is, Tomoya committed it suicide after the death of Lucio. We don't know that. We never did. It's in the visual novel, yes, but it wasn't suicide. They both died in the snow. Doesn't count. But, Lucio didn't have any stories to be told. That's, that's pretty much fact. Her death didn't spark a damn thing. Except for a reset, which wasn't even caused by Ushio, but an alternate friggin' dimension. And I already talked about how stupid that is and how many questions are raised because of it in the review. But I hate it when they kill off a character and there are no stories that come as a result of it. It's absolutely moronic. And I think another reason why I just don't think Ushio's death worked is... And I know this is personal, but then again you can argue the first two reasons were also personal. I despise it when they kill off a child. I really do. I'm not exactly the biggest fan of kids, but I think they deserve a chance to live. And the very idea of killing off a child is sickening. I still stand by my remark saying, screw you, Ki, because that is just scum. That is absolutely scummy, and that's ridiculous. 
And yes, I know Nagusa almost died as a kid, but it clearly didn't happen. She didn't die. It does not count. Ushio did, as a child. And that really pisses me off. I know some people might bring up, oh, what are your thoughts on this one or this one where a child dies, and my response is pretty much going to be the same. I don't like it. I hate the idea of killing off a child character. It really is stupid. Especially one that was set up like Ushio was. She had a personality, etc. She had an established presence in the show. And just killing her off is moronic. This isn't even just exclusive to Klana. I hate it in all friggin' media where they kill off child characters. It's just friggin' moronic. Because there are more stories that could be told with them alive than with them dead. And I know some of you may say, well, what about the death of adults or teen characters in media? Well, if you can't tell much of a story with them, fine. But this is just personal preference. I hate it when they kill off a child character, and this is no exception. So that's why I think that Nagisa's death worked and Ushio's personally didn't. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you think both of them worked pretty well? Do you think one worked and the other didn't? Let me know in the comments below. Take care, everybody.